Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in a previous video, I talked about why I have such low views despite my subscriber count. And in that episode, I really took a much deeper dive into my historical data, just looking at how my content and most importantly, my audience really contributed to the overall growth of my channel. And so today I'm going to take a different approach and kind of look at which operating systems are the most popular on my YouTube channel. And the reason I want to do that is if you actually go to my channel and you sort by most popular videos, what you notice is there's a lot of Linux videos that are actually here as my most popular videos. And the reason that's the case is because my Linux videos are what really drove the growth of my channel. And I'm very grateful for all the Linux users out there uh, that actually started my whole channel and really helped me grow up to this point. Now I want to see whether or not it is the most popular operating system for people who come to my channel. And if you go to my Linux playlist, I have literally hundreds of Linux videos. And so they still count for a good chunk of my overall views and subscribers. So let's go ahead and look at this through analytics. So if I come here to analytics and I go to see more, and you could do this on your YouTube channel as well. You could go to more right here and then go to operating system. And when you go here, it'll show you which operating systems are bringing in the most views, watch time, and obviously you could add more fields here as well. But at least right now, for the last 28 days, Windows, Android, Linux, iOS, and Macintosh are the top five most popular operating systems. But now let's look at this from a historical point of view. So I'm going to go back to 2015, and this one right here is 2016. So I'm comparing uh, how the operating system users have changed. And so in 2015 is when I really started Geek Outdoors. And at that time, I wasn't getting many views at all. And the one that was the most popular operating system was Android. And that kind of made sense because pretty much all the videos that I created for many years was produced on my smartphone. And I think a lot of people who are just now coming into and watching my channel are watching it from a mobile device. And iOS was there as well. And not surprisingly, Windows was here. At this point, I really didn't have a content strategy for my channel. Or basically, I didn't know uh, the type of content I was going to produce. But that all changed in 2000. 16 whenever I started producing Linux videos and this is where pretty much all my growth happened because the operating system that a lot of people are using really correlates with that because here's Linux it went from like 1.7 percent up to 15.2 percent and if you look at this graph here that is a huge difference so 62 views in 2015 versus 16,667 views from Linux operating system users. And obviously other things grew as well. And now instead of Android being the top operating system, it is now Windows. So let's move over to the next year. So now it's comparing 2016 to 2017. And here we see once again, the operating systems are pretty much the same. And you won't really see much of a difference as we go year by year. So we'll go here to 2018. And so it pretty much looks the same. But what you'll notice is in 2018, uh, this is when I started making changes to the content of my channel. So from 2016 to mostly 2018, uh, I was still producing a lot of Linux videos. And even though Windows is still here at the top, Linux operating system still accounted for a lot of my viewership. So it went from 14.4% in 2017 to 14.5%. But then when I started making this change, 2019 was really when things started to change. And here from 2018 to 2019, we did see a decrease in Linux users. So we went from 14.5% down to 11.1%. And Windows has uh, improved dramatically. Android is still second. And the number of people who were watching my channel from iOS and Macintosh, uh, it is pretty consistent throughout all the years. Uh, which is pretty surprising uh, because I don't have any uh, Macintosh related videos. But a lot of this open source software, you can use it on Macintosh as well. So it is multi-platform. And so this really goes along with my whole content strategy. Because starting in 2018, I really started changing a lot of my content to more video editing, content creation, uh, and YouTube related videos. And then in 2019, I really kept that going. And now in 2020, a lot of my videos are going to be related to video editing, content creation, and, you know, YouTube videos as well. But most of it is going to be video editing, at least for now. And so those are really surprising, um, at least from my point of view, because I kind of thought that most of the top operating system, the top two at least, was going to be Linux. Because 
uh, a lot of my growth, as I said earlier in 2016, it came from my Linux users. Uh, but I'm not surprised that ever since changing my content, it also changed my overall audience. And by the end of 2020, this is going to change even more. And uh, more than likely, uh, Linux will continue to be uh, less percentage. So I don't think it's going to be overtaken by iOS or Macintosh because I still will be producing Linux videos. It's just that the overall percentage is going to be less. And so that is what I could tell from the operating system users. And some of the things that's really interesting is uh, you look at the other operating systems that people are watching this from. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so in 2015, you know, not that many operating systems, but it's funny to see BlackBerry there. But then as the years go on, you see way more operating systems. You know, you'll see stuff like Tizen, which is a Samsung uh, open source OS. You see Mego, Nintendo 3DS, Real Media. And then uh, year over year, the operating systems kind of stayed the same for the most part. And then we had a Chromecast. I don't think Chromecast was, yeah. So Chromecast started appearing and so that's really interesting to see the different types of operating systems. You know, there's some new ones, uh, like here is Kai OS, uh, WebOS, and Smart TV. Uh, so these are all smart device operating systems. And then uh, last year in 2019, oh, now we have Apple TV as well, and Nintendo Switch. And so it's really interesting to see that. And whenever you're looking at data, um, you know, for some people, they might not look at this, but it's really cool the types of things that you could learn from all the data that YouTube collects and also provides to you as a content creator. And so you can learn a lot about who's actually watching your videos, where they're watching it from, and how they're watching it. And so those are just uh, my thoughts on, you know, this whole idea of what's the most popular operating system users who watch my channel and Windows seems to be the king and it's going to continue to be that way and uh, I, I don't think this is going to change anytime soon but that would be funny if the Mac operating system started you know overtaking Linux you know uh, that wouldn't be surprising if a lot of my uh, tutorials and stuff they're pretty much multi-platform and so uh, those are my thoughts on that if you had any thoughts on any of this operating system data or any other stuff that you were interested in in analytics be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you want to see more of my youtube related videos i do have a playlist i'll leave that in the description as well if you're interested so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on youtube and other places on the internet then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.